Hey fam, I want you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Fallout from the Michael Cohen hearing before Chairman Elijah Cummings' Oversight Committee on Wednesday continues. New lines of inquiry on possible crimes by Donald Trump. More witnesses to be called. But we want to focus more on North Carolina Congressman Mark Meadows' use of African-American HUD official Lynn Patton as a prop. You'll recall Med Meadows brought Patton to the hearing supposedly to prove Donald Trump is not a racist because he has a black friend. That did not sit well with committee members of color, and they were vocal about it. Just to make a note, Mr. Chairman, just because someone has a person of color, a black person working for them, does not mean they aren't racist. And it is insensitive that some would even say it's the fact that someone would actually use a prop, a black woman, in this chamber, in this committee, is alone racist in itself. Meadows was near tears, declaring he was not a racist. There's nothing more personal to me than my relationship. My nieces and nephews are people of color. Not many people know that. You know that, Mr. Chairman. And to indicate that I asked someone who is a personal friend of the the Trump family, who has worked for him, who knows this particular individual, that she's coming in to be a prop, it's racist to suggest that I ask her to come in here for that reason. And, and Mr. Chairman, you, are, you and I have a personal relationship that's not based on color. And, and to even go down this direction is, is wrong, Mr. Chairman. Oh, but the receipts. Yesterday, we showed you two videos from 2012 of Meadows talking about sending President Obama back to Kenya. And so what we're going to do is take back our country. 2012 is the time that we're going to send Mr. Obama home to Kenya or wherever it is. We're going to do it. You know, I, I, I see it as if we do our job from a grassroots standpoint, we won't have to worry about it. You know what? We, we'll send him back home to Kenya or wherever it is. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll send him back home. And late yesterday, a third such video was found by the Washington Post. Obama has gotten arrogant. He's using the pen to create and legislate from the executive branch, and we need to say enough and enough. And 2012 is when we're going to send him back home. Uh, wherever that may be. Meadows has tried to explain this away, but we haven't yet heard an apology to President Obama or the rest of us for that matter. You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Martin.